charter schools and all these things are prepping for this 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 new uh, neighborhood type of system that's in place. Mm -hmm. uh, but what is actually happening is it's sending poor people onto a reservation. It's almost like the Indians, as far as I'm concerned, because there's no new development for poor people. Um, uh, we did have to move there, Casey, but fought it off uh, with the support of NAACP that they came back with a thing called RAD. And with that RAD, uh, no one has to move, but we moved from Casey to Casey. Uh, but uh, that's not the case in a lot of cities uh, with uh, where HUD is giving the property to housing authority, folks is having to move and don't have anywhere to go. And so, Pastor, <coughs> what we're saying here is that uh, some of the policies that have been followed mm -hmm. dealing with housing has led to uh, the removal of a large number of individuals who might have been in public housing, mm -hmm. but now they are no longer in public housing, and so they're in a real sense almost on the street. Talk about well, it from that perspective. There there's a new there's a new homelessness mm -hmm. out there that mm -hmm. exists now as a result of Nashville's growth. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, I, I appreciate the positive side of the growth of Nashville mm -hmm. and everything with all the development. You know, mm -hmm. if we can think back, you know, seven eight years ago. Uh, during the uh, past presidential administration under Bush, you walk, you drive around Nashville, and you see foreclosure here, foreclosure there. I mean, the housing market was just, just down, you know, and people losing properties and stuff like that. Now, with all this growth that's taking place under this current administration, and, and Nashville is truly, truly booming and growing, and all the construction and everything. Uh, but this housing market that's uh, here now is pushing a lot of people out of housing because a lot of them are not unable to afford housing you know even with the section 8 uh, situations and stuff like that you got people that had properties that had their property certified for section 8 uh, occupancies now that uh, all this growth is taking place some of these homeowners are taking money as Mr. Zerker had, had alluded to earlier in our conversation before uh, and uh, uh, taking monies and, and uh, uh, Re renovated their properties, what I'm trying to say. Mm -hmm. and, and as a result of that, they're putting it, they're getting market value for the properties. And so the mm -hmm. people that would, they have, would have normally rented those properties mm -hmm. under Section 8, they are unable to find it. And I work with the homeless mm -hmm. and I experience people with certificates, mm -hmm. uh, Section 8 uh, mm -hmm. uh, certificates, but cannot find uh, housing. Housing that mm -hmm. would, uh, for would, the price of those certificates that they have. Absolutely. Yes, absolutely. Uh -huh. Because so many, you know, the housing market is, is, is just so high right now, mm -hmm. you know. Uh, or is it good to say, I mean, can we say that uh, most poor peop individuals mm -hmm. in town have been priced out of housing uh, and mm -hmm. therefore they're almost homeless? Oh yeah, absolutely. Yes, they're, they're, they've mm -hmm. been priced out of housing, they're almost homeless, and some of them are homeless. You know, you get calls, man, from where I work at, you know, mm -hmm. uh, a woman and her children and stuff looking for somewhere to go. Mm -hmm. She's got a job. But she can she can no longer afford to stay in the place that she is in because <coughs> the landlords are seeing the up the rise mm -hmm. in in the market value for rentals <coughs> and they're raising these rents up to the level where people cannot pay them. Mm -hmm. and then you've got people that's coming in from bigger cities and stuff like that that's used to paying high dollar rents and then the rents they paying here yeah. they're actually saving, saving. the money. Mm -hmm. Whereas we're looking at it, man, this, this is an escalation in the cost of rental in Nashville, but these people are coming here renting because they're actually saving money, whereas we're seeing it, mm -hmm. that the prices, and it's pricing other people mm -hmm. out. Okay, and we're going to have, uh, we've got 30 seconds in, in, in this uh, particular segment. But when we come back, Mr. Zerker, mm -hmm. what we want to do is to look at uh, some of the uh, proposed solutions to some of the issues that we have and, and we'll have 10 minutes to deal with that but great. we're going to start with you and anything that you have or your knowledge in terms of how we might be able to deal with that mm -hmm. this is when we want that information to come out and great. we'll be back with our audience following this very very short commercial break
Section 8, which is a, a set amount of money That's that right. the government can pay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If they give you $200 or $300 for, for an apartment, yeah. and you ordinarily could have taken care yeah. of that, right. but now that they go back for five, well, yeah. what about raising the amount of money? Yeah. Mm -hmm. and is, is, that a, is there a possibility? Yeah. Right? No, it's even worse than that. Mm -hmm. Okay, just, well, they're, you're not, gonna, they're not written to a Section 8. Well, you, well, you hold it. <laughs> okay. Hold it, because yeah. that's yeah. what we want. This, yeah. is, this yeah. is the time that we want that that's, out. Yeah. We're going to have 10 minutes, yeah. and when okay. we come back, I want you got five minutes okay. to lay out as loudly and as fast as you possibly can. give some solution stuff. Yeah, that's okay. what I'm talking yes, about. Sir. Just speak up. Oh, I got you. I got you. Five minutes and then yeah. you, you grab yeah. the next five minutes okay. and you speak up okay. and we're going to try yeah, to do I, this. I want to talk about the significance, you know, because you, you said something about fighting against moving out so they're moving from Casey to Casey. Yes, sir. And that's that's not been the case. That, nowhere. The other places that around. This is the only place. really significant. Yes, it is. Okay, well, anything y'all have and, to say about that? Yeah. was mm -hmm. one got through, 10 minutes. Yeah, yeah. That was one through fighting off what they had, the re revitalization. Everybody had to move. They were going to tear down the whole thing. Mm -hmm. And where were we going? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know. I see. Uh, yeah. That's what that's Thank you and welcome back to the final segment of the uh, show today. We're talking about the growth of Nashville and uh, how the housing population uh, in Nashville. And, and Mr. Zirka, let's see if we can talk in terms of some of the solutions, okay. in terms of some of the issues that we've already talked about. How, how do you see it from your perspective? Good. Um, well, this is a booming town. This is an it city. Uh, the revision of, uh, of this city um, with all the major developments is here. They have a 25 year plan. Uh, the East Bank in itself, they're talking about 12,000 units. This is a whole lot of major development. Uh, there's no, if you look at the, uh, the, the uh, builders, the uh, contractors, the uh, uh, construction workers, uh, you don't see certain folk out there that are carpenters, plumbers, mm -hmm. Uh, uh, roofers, uh, bricklayers, all the things that it takes to build a house. You go around this town and you'll see that there's uh, discriminatory uh, faces. Mm -hmm. There's, it, it, when I was coming up, they had high schools where it was, you, you came to school mandatory, but you could go to shop. You could learn how to be a plumber, mm -hmm. learn how to do these other things. One of the solutions is to get back into some of that. They've got a thing where 